everybody, we're back for another video, and in this video, I'm going to talk about this notebook. This is my blue Traveler's Notebook, and this is the Pan Am edition that came out quite a while ago. Um, this one I introduced in a video about, oh goodness gracious, maybe a week or two ago? And we have the dog and the cat playing down by the base of the camera stand, which I'll insert a photo here. So there might be some interruptions. So if there's weird cuts, it's because of the children. Okay, so let's take a look at what I have inside. So the first thing you'll see I have inside is a... Pan Am zipper pouch. Where's the end of it? There's the end of it. So it's the standard Pan Am zipper pouch that Midori released, Traveler's Company released. Then I have a, a Peaky Dory Design calendar. And uh, with this, as you've seen in my um, no spend, low spends, I've been keeping track of our bills and then my spending. And so we're here. We are, and there they run by. I hope you don't get bumped because I'm gonna have to pause for just a moment. We're back. Here we are, we just finished August. And so September here is started. And so that's, that's what this has been for tracking our bills and tracking my spending on personal items. Um, I have a Pan Am Traveler's Notebook um, grid insert that I've started and stopped with so many different things, so many different times, that it's just kind of a collect-all <laughs> for right now. So like, I think what I'll do is clip these together because they have nothing to do with anything. And here they come running through again. I think Kitty thinks if she is by the base of the camera, she'll be safe. They're playing. Just one moment. So that's what I have in here. Then I have a Traveler's Company, uh, actually it was Midori when I got it, folder that I cut some little slots in. And the insert that I have in there is a Plannerpedia, and it is just the, um, the it says budget, but it's basically a check register where you have date, description, plus, minus, and then your balance. And I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, but I have an insert in here. Wait, we're gonna see someone. She might make an appearance. Oops, she's sniffing my coffee. I think she's sitting up here because she knows she's safe on the highway. <laughs> um, uh, this has been such an insufferable day because of these two. They have not let me get anything done. Okay. So, she's been hovering, so I thought I'd let her make an appearance. Hi, Lila. Hi, Lila. Yes, we know you're a pretty kitty. Mm. Now go play. Okay, so I have that where I'm going to start keeping track of everything, but um, I was going through some of my old inserts, and this is an insert that I used, as you can see, back in 2016. Here she comes again. This was by Plan Inc. is the name of the company. Plan Inc., but they are no longer on Etsy, uh, and like they stopped doing inserts. Here, she wants some washi tape, so see this washi? See this? See this? See this? Go get it! So this insert is from Plan Inc. She used to be on Etsy, and she's no longer there, and I bought it in the standard size in 2016, and then in 2015, I bought it, or sorry, in 2017, I bought it in the field note size. But I'm using the traditional Midori 
So what I decided to do, it comes date, it came when it was purchasable, it came dated. So if you'll see, here's August for 2016 and all of the, the dates, and then, you know, important events, the expenses, uh, total income, total expenses and total savings. And then these are like your fixed bills and these are variable bills. And then there's some note spots here. And then you're on to your next month. And it's, oh wait, actually there's something else. There's your next month. So it's four pages uh, for tracking all of that stuff. And I remember I used it for part of here she is, here she is. She's making another appearance. She wants to lay on the table. Um, so I remembered using this and really enjoying this insert. And so I decided I would print it and then just get one of those white out tapes. Okay, this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna work. So I've had to stop and start like 10 times because of those two. So I have no idea where I am. So this is the financial planner from Plan Inc. that I purchased in 2016 in the standard Midori size. In 2017, I got the field note size because I was doing things a lot smaller for a few years. And I, she no longer exists on um, Etsy as a seller of digital inserts. So what I decided to do was to print my 2016 because it comes dated. So here we are looking in August. You see, you've got all the dates. So what I decided to do is to white out the 16 and all of the dates for the months. And I just started with the first few months of the year. And then I will just use some pen to date the little calendars. And this is to track when your bills are due. So you can see and you can also mark paydays so you can see in relation on a calendar instead of a list so this is something that i'm going to implement into my financial planning for the upcoming year for 2020. um i mean i bought the insert and i love the insert and since she doesn't make them anymore i mean i'm kind of forced to to do that um so planning designs, I don't even think you have an Instagram anymore. So if you see this video, um, I would love a 2020, but since you don't make them anymore, yeah, I'm left to my own devices. So this will be, uh, be added to, the, to my financial um, planning traveler's notebook. But so some people had asked about, because I haven't been posting any Coco Daisy videos and the number of unboxings that I have done has drastically reduced. And, and one of the main reasons is I don't want my videos here on YouTube to be an impetus for someone to buy something that they, you know, necessarily might not need. Like they might want, but they might not actually physically have a need or even a space for it. Um, and, and Coco Daisy was one of those things. I love Coco Daisy. I love the product. I love I love Christine and the company that you know that she's the owner of the company, and I love the designers, and I I really have liked working with the design team. But I noticed something with my spending. So. Before 2016, I had purchased a few of the digital inserts because I was in my passport for quite a long time. And at that time, Coco Daisy Passport, the only thing you could do is get them as a digital uh, download and then, you know, print, cut and bind them yourself. So I don't have any of those records because the web page changed a bit. So in 2016, all I bought was a subscription, and it should be for six months, one, two, three, four, five, six. It was for six months, and all it was was the standard Daisy Dory, uh, you know, the standard Midori size insert. So I spent $69. Not, not too bad for six, six inserts, and I actually used them over the period of a whole entire year. Um, because there's so many pages in there and the way I was using them wasn't the way most people use them. So then hop over to 2017. 
you know, they started to get, you know, cooler, nicer, cuter things in the, um, yeah, you can see that, uh, in the, um, in the monthly kit. So you can see there's more than 12 purchases here because there were um, a few things that I purchased outright because they do have a store where you can buy um, previous things from other kits or they'll put together little grab bags and stuff like that. And so in the year of 2017, I spent $503.45, which, you know, is quite a bit. Um, you know, when you break that down, it's, you know, about 40 or so dollars, 40, 45 dollars a month, um, which, which is a lot. Um, or, oh, yeah, 45 to 50. Um, so then here comes 2018. 2018, um, towards the middle of 2017, I started doing some Coco Daisy unboxings, but then I really started heavy in 2018. And so I did um, pretty much a video a month. There was only one month I didn't do a video and it was because I paused my subscription. I think it was August. But in the month of, or the year of 2018, I spent $806.62 on Coco Daisy. Now, a lot of the stuff I did use, um, or, find ways to use, but then so much of the stuff I didn't use. And and I found as the months were going by, um, there was more and more stuff I wasn't using. Like, a lot of the pencil pouches came with these big, huge tassels. I know, they're, they're, they're catering for a demographic that isn't me. Um, and then, so they started to change to be more of that demographic. And that's that's totally fine. You know, it's their own business, they can do whatever they want. So at the end of December, my last, um, that was my final subscription that was coming for December. And then this one was a, um, a monthly insert for January to fulfill one subscription. So at the end of December, I haven't purchased anything from Coco Daisy this entire year. And one reason is, in the matter of really two and a half years, I spent $1,379.07. And while I loved the stuff that came in the, the boxes, you know, with there being so much stuff I didn't use, um, things started to become like more pinks and the blushes and stuff like that, which, which, as you can see, are not my color palette, <laughs> um, you know, and that's fine, you know. So I decided to halt Coco Daisy for the year of 2019 and see if there's, and, you know, just see what they do for a year, and then that would determine if I'm going to go back. And I don't think I'm going to go back because um, one thing, while I did love all the the cute characters, and I loved Simon, the little the little bunny rabbit, and I still have so many of those stamps and, and some stickers and some post-its left. Um, but one thing, you know, that it did is it really let me look at how am I spending my money? And, and I don't know if that's where I want to spend my money. I mean, that money can go for a lot of things. Um, and so this year, even though we've been doing the, the no spend, low spend, and some of the months have been like, you know, wait, earlier in the year, like 253, you know, well, if you were to add that with my Coco Daisy and other things, um, you know, it's, it's been a much more mindful year for me. So, yeah, so I just wanted to, to show where the whole no spend, low spend came from and, and what I'm going to be using, um, let me put this back in the folder, for um, the upcoming year, for 2020. So I do have my 2019 calendar in here. That was August, my lowest no spend already. And I think middle Miss Lila is gonna make an appearance again, because, you know, why wouldn't she? There she is, honey bunny here. Why don't you just sit Sit down there, let me finish. Um, so 
I had Taylor at Paper and Cats. There's her web page. I had her take my design of the two dot grid and then the monthly calendar and I had her make it in passport size and as a digital download and she's also going to be making it in the um, standard size for me but one thing that I I had her change was I wanted her to put a nice light grid it's kind of hard to see there um, so it's basically my Peaky Dory design but with Taylor. So I, I don't know if it's something she's gonna offer because these are the first passport inserts I've seen from her shop. Um, but um, ask her if, you, if it's something that you, you like and that you're interested in. She makes wonderful designs and her inserts are wonderful, but I just did the digital because I know how to make and can make my own inserts. Um, but we're looking forward to having it in the next day or so in the um, standard Midori size. Um, so if it's something that you're interested in, ask her, um, you know, say, hey, John's version of the monthly calendar with the extra grid. And so you can track your bills and your spending. So you can see Miss Lila has joined us. She loves the sound of crinkling paper too. Watch. Here, I'll move it forward. Let's see. See, I have a cat that's a paper snub too. Um, so, oh, I just pulled that page out. So there you go. This is what I'm going to have in my, and she loves the bookmark in the Midori or the, the charm that I have on the, the front as well. Honey, honey, baby, honey. So there you go. That's a look at what I'm gonna be using for my, oh, no, honey, no, no. No, no, ow, don't bite me. That's not nice, don't bite the daddy. So that's gonna be my um, financial notebook for 2020, well, for the remainder of the year and for 2020. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and little Miss Lila, she says goodbye. Well, that's the back of her head as she's licking my finger. Okay, see you next time, bye-bye.